a random variable x has a probability generating function g of x is k minus 1 over k minus t. Proved by induction that g dn dt n, the nth derivative of g of t, is n factorial times k minus 1 divided by k minus t to the n plus 1. Okay, so what we're going to prove is we're going to let Pn be the proposition of d dn dt n gt is equal to n factorial g k minus 1 over k minus t to the n plus 1, sorry. So P of 1, it would be d dt of g of t. If we put this 1 into the uh, right-hand side, we get 1 factorial brackets k minus 1 over k minus t to the 1 plus 1 which is equal to k minus 1 over k minus t squared. For the left-hand side, we have to differentiate the, the probability generating function, which is k minus 1 over k minus t. So we're going to do d dt of k minus 1. We're going to write k minus t to the minus 1. Using the chain rule, we're going to get minus k minus 1, k minus t to the minus 2. Differentiate the bracket, get minus 1. That minus sign will cancel with that minus sign, and we'll end up with k minus 1 over k minus t to squared, which is the same as we've got here. Therefore, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, therefore it's true for n is equal to 1, so p1 is equal to, it's true. Assume pn is equal to true, we can't use pk because k is a constant in the thing, so ddt of gt is equal to n factorial k minus 1, k minus t to the n minus 1. If we use k, we're going to have a problem because we're going to have k twice. Prove true for p n plus 1, i.e. what we've got to show is that the n plus 1, that the n plus 1 derivative will be n plus 1 factorial times k minus 1 over k minus t to the n plus 2. So what we need to do is the n, the n plus 1 derivative of g of t will be like differentiating our assumption from here, n factorial k minus 1 over k minus t n minus n plus 1. This is the assumption, differentiating that again. So it comes to the derivative of n factorial k minus 1 k minus t to the minus n plus 1. Differentiating, we're going to get n times k minus 1. Then this will come down in front. So we're going to have minus bracket what n plus 1 n. Write down the bracket and reduce its power by 1 and differentiate the bracket. We get minus 1 using the chain rule. Obviously, the minus signs will cancel out. And we live with m, n plus 1 factorial because n factorial times n plus 1 is the same as n plus 1 factorial k minus 1 times k minus t to the minus n plus 2. And that becomes n plus 1 factorial k minus 1 over k minus t to the n plus 2 factorial. So that's, that's correct. And that's equal to the right-hand side. And therefore, as pn is true for n is equal to 1, and if, if it's true for pn is true, and it's then it's true for p n plus 1 is true, then p n is true for all n greater or equal to 1 n belonging to integers. Hence or otherwise, find the probability distribution of x in terms of k. So we've got g x of t is equal to p x of the probability of x is equal to 0 plus the probability of x is equal to 1 times t plus the probability of x is equal to 2 times t squared, etc. That's the general definition of a probability generating function. So gx of 0, so if we put t equal to 0 here, we're just going to end up with probability x is equal to 0. If we differentiate, if we differentiate that, that one will disappear. We're just going to get px is equal to 1, and here we're going to get 2 times the probability of t t, and all the rest will, will be there. But if we put in 0, we're going to get probability of x is equal to 1. If we differentiate again, because we've got that 2 in front of the probability of x is equal to 2, then we're going to get 2 times the probability of x is equal to 2, but we're going to call it 2 factorial. That process can, can be con continue, and we could all write then the probability x is equal to 2 is the second derivative of the generating function when it's equal to 0 divided by 2 fact factorial. In fact, 
the probability when x is equal to n is in fact 1 over n factorial g of the nth derivative of the probability generating function when it's equal to 0. So, using that idea into our thing, we need to do 1 over n factorial of the nth derivative of g of t when t is equal to 0. But from the uh, what we just proved, we've we know that the that will be n factorial k minus one k minus t to the n plus one, but t is equal to zero, so it's k minus zero. So we're going to end up with the n factorials will cancel out, and we'll end up with k minus one over k n plus one, and this is the probability distribution function, the probability when x is equal to n in terms of k. Find the expectation and the variance of x in terms of k. Well, e of x is g dashed of 1, by definition. So 1 factorial k minus 1 over k minus t to the 1 plus 1 when t is equal to 1. So put t is equal to 1, so we get k minus 1 over k minus 1 squared. So e of x, uh, obviously they will cancel down. e of x will be 1 over k minus 1. We we'll also have to find the variance. The variance of x is given by the generating function, uh, second derivative of the generating function when it's 1, plus the generating function when it's equal to 1, minus the generating function when it's equal to 1, so the derivative of the generating function when it's equal to 1 squared. This is the derivative of the generating function. So this will be from our formula 2 factorial over k times k minus 1 over k minus t to the 2 plus 1 when t is equal to 1. This we already have is 1 over k minus 1, and then we need to do minus 1 over k minus 1 all squared. Putting t equal to 1, we're going to get 2 k minus 1 over k minus 1 cubed, plus 1 over k minus 1 minus 1 over k minus 1 squared. Let's take a k minus 1 squared out, but cancel that first with that, and if we take a k minus 1 squared out, then here we will be left with 2. Here we'd have to multiply this by k minus 1, so we'll have a k minus 1 in the numerator, and here we just need to take away 1. The 2 take away 1, we'll just leave k, and then we're left with k over k minus 1 all squared, as the variance.